Hi, I'm Steven. And I'm Sarah, and together we're Two Ton Studios. We've been making this game for the past four years, and it's finally coming out this December. Unto the End is a challenging, combat adventure game in the style of a cinematic platformer. Its story is simple. Get back home to your family. When people talk about Under the End, they often mention the fighting and the combat. And we're really proud of that. We work super hard on it, and we hope it plays unlike any other game. We wanted the challenge to come from reading and reacting to your opponents, rather than hacking and slashing. So the advice we give is to stay calm and make the most of every opportunity, since fights can be won or lost in two or three hits. Every fight demands focus and attention. We really want to reward careful observation and master of your abilities. Whether you approach a fight by surprising an opponent with your dagger, ducking under one of their attacks, faking them out, shoulder bashing, or taking advantage of friendly fire. We also designed this mode called Combat Assist. It gives you more time to read and react while still offering a challenge. It was also important for us to have alternatives to fighting. So some difficult combat encounters can be completely avoided by using or trading items rather than going in sword first. The environments you move through, the items you find, they all give you clues as to what the different characters want. But you might inadvertently make an encounter more difficult if you use the wrong item at the wrong time. And then there's characters that just don't care enough to fight you if you run away. They might have been protecting their territory and just felt threatened. By not rushing into combat, you give yourself a chance to learn more about the characters and their relationships with each other. A lot of these ideas came from Sarah and me wondering, how would you communicate with creatures you share no language with? Of course, attacking a creature with a sword is a pretty clear way of telling them you're an aggressor. But there are also non-verbal ways of telling creatures you mean no harm. Every time you make one of these decisions, you're shaping the main character and the tools they'll have at their disposal. For example, this is one of the harder fights in the game. You can choose to help this character out, you can ignore them and just walk right by, or of course you can fight. You'll actually get different items based on what you do, and those items will impact later encounters. We did all this because we wanted the world to feel alive and bigger than the main character. We're really proud of these moments. We think of them like difficulty settings built into the gameplay that also serve as inflection points which shape your adventure. These things you can really only do in a video game. They create an adventure built from your actions. And that's what Sarah and I think is really special about games. Thanks so much for watching. Under the End will be out this December. And we can't wait to hear about your experience playing it.